Hey everyone, we're here for an update on our soil conversion project using WineCap. To recap, if you didn't see our initial video, we're taking my backyard and trying to build back up to 8 inches of organic matter that was lost during some construction. We're doing this with wood chips and wine cap. Wine cap mycelium is an incredibly strong decomposer that can eat through woody material, turning it to plantable organic matter in just a few years. Here's how the project's going. It's been six months since I covered my yard in cardboard, wine cap spawn, and wood chips. As a reminder, the cardboard was used to smother weeds so that when the yard is ready to be planted, any new plants will not be competing with non-native grass varieties. This isn't a necessary step for a standard wine cap bed, but if you're building your bed over a grassy area, it's quite helpful to start with a clean slate. To know that the project is going as planned, the first thing to look for is spawn run. Spawn run is simply mushroom mycelium working its way through its growing medium and starting to break down that substrate, converting it into food for itself. You can actually see this by digging into your wine cap bed and finding areas of white stringy material. This is the wine cap mycelium. Seeing a large amount of this means that the wine cap is latching onto a wood chips and starting to break them down into a nice organic material. The second cue to success is the mushrooms themselves. We started seeing mushrooms about three months after planting. We planted our bed in June and we saw our first mushrooms in early September. Look at the size of this one. The majority of wine cap we found were in areas where the depth of wood chips was four inches or less. If you saw our initial video on this project, you may recall that there were areas where we had up to eight inches of wood chips. 8 inches is a lot of wood chips for wine cap mycelium to eat through, so we likely won't see mushrooms in those areas until spring of next year. So, in our case, we saw most of the mushrooms on the edges of the yard where the wood chips were thinnest. Another noticeable change is that of the cardboard itself. This was the cardboard one month after planting when the mycelium is just starting to rebound and take hold. This is six months after planting, and the wine cap has largely degraded the cardboard. Also, if you dig into the wood chips, you can actually see that decomposition. The wood chips in contact with the wine cap are starting to degrade into finer particles, whereas if you compare it to the top level where it's been too dry for the mycelium to work through, you can see that there are obviously still woody pieces. By the end of this process, the aim is to have all of the woody particles look more like a rich organic matter. Stay tuned for future videos on how the process is going.